I hope you all had a look at the first video where we talked about the improvements of filters. Now we have a topic in version 2.3 which makes use of these new filter objects we can create, which is then the sheet masking. So of course we can use our filters to reduce the information in bigger sheets, especially like the sequence sheet or the fixture sheet or the track sheet where you sometimes get a lot of information but you want to reduce it to a level of the information which you really need at the moment. So let's have a look at an example. We have our track sheet open here and you know that the track sheet with all the cues you have in your sequence shows you all the information of what the fixtures are doing and how the values look like. But of course this can be quite overwhelming at a time so we can use the filters to reduce that information and to mask our sheet. How can we do this? We go first of all to the sheet settings, so here at the top left corner, and then you will find a new tab which is called mask buttons. So the sheet masking now delivers you a mask toolbar which you can directly use in some of these bigger sheets like fixture or track sheet. So we enable the mask toolbar and you can see that the mask buttons are now visible here at the bottom of our sheet. That means we can just assign filters now to use this mask toolbar and to mask our sheets with these filters. So an example could be that we have an only dimmer filter. Let's first of all have a quick look how this dimmer filter is built. So we have one rule here on the left hand side which is called attributes and then on the right hand side we just select the dimmer. So at the end we want to use this filter to just see dimmer information in our track sheet. We close this window again and what we can do is just to assign this filter with the assign key or the assign swipey to one of the mask buttons over here. So we have this only dimmer filter directly in our track sheet here. We can enable it and you can see that we just see dimmer information here on the right hand side. This button here is a toggle so you can just turn it off again to see all information. Another example would be only the color. Again, let's have a look how this filter is built. We have an attribute rule on the left hand side and on the right hand side we just select um, the color attributes. So again, close this. We assign that to our track sheet to the mask buttons and then we enable this to just see the color information over here. And then you can switch back and forth between the different filters you want to use and reduce the information in your track sheet. So have a look at the new sheet masking style and how to use the filter object directly in your new mask toolbar.